So today we're here in South Texas at a place called Lucky Feedlot, home of about 12 to 15,000 cattle. That's right, thousand. There is a ton of cattle here and how they feed them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in a silage harvester here in a second, go through that, see everything about it. I don't know anything about silage, so I'm gonna learn just as much as you, but I'm excited to hop in. He's coming around right now, so let's go jump in. Let's get on in. This is what they call blowing a hole or creating a new path through the crop. The reason this is done is to break down the field into smaller portions rather than trying to tackle it all at once, creates new paths for the trucks, the harvester, and other vehicles to follow behind. Hopefully this gives you an idea how big this chute it is. This thing is huge. Look at this. What you see here is the silage harvester having to stop and start because the hay grazer has started to lay down. The reason this is an issue is because the hay starts to lay down in different directions and the knives cannot cut the hay grazer in the correct spots, causes issues up front of the header, makes it jam up. Luckily enough though, this header is ran by a hydraulic system and not gears, therefore it's much easier to throw it in reverse, spit the hay back out, and start it back over. This machine is all GPS ran, so all you have to do is plug in the GPS information that was used to plant the field, and the operator himself, all he has to do is control the blower, make sure he's hitting the truck, and he's good to go.
So he's running about six, six and a half miles an hour. This kind of gives you a context of how tall this is. I mean, it's about eight, eight and a half, nine foot tall. And he's getting about six and a half miles an hour, which is really good. I mean, he's zooming that thing. He said though, this isn't as thick as he likes. He likes it to be taller and more thicker than it is. And it'll run even better doing that. Um, so I spoke to him about how much that unit cost. They purchased it brand new with the header on it between 800 dollars and $850,000 for that unit itself. They run seven of them, which is wild. They do everything from hay grazer like this to corn up north in Kansas. They go everywhere. It's really interesting. That thing is awesome. That engine on that unit produces 850 horsepower, which is insane. He's gonna finish tonight. We're gonna go over there and look at where they drop them off with all these trucks, how they pack it and they roll it and everything and throw the tarps on it. And in the morning, we're gonna come back He's gonna open it up for us. We're gonna take a look at everything inside that unit also, when it's nice and quiet and we're not trying to rush them. So let's go check out one of these trucks where they unload it and see what they've got going on over there. Here you can see how much it's really chopped it up. I'm mean, taking it from that eight and a half foot tall piece of hay grazer to this. It's pretty amazing that it does that at seven miles an hour. So once the truck brings the silage over here, the reason you have a tractor like this that compacts it into this big mound, and you gotta compact it. And the reason for that is in order for this silage to ferment and turn into silage, I guess, is you gotta get all the air out of it. So that's what he's doing up there. He's compacting and he's rolling it. He's pushing it, he's creating a huge mound, and he's just gonna keep rolling it and packing it and packing it and packing it. And what that does is they get all the little oxygen out of this and allows it to ferment. And once they're complete, they'll get a huge tarp and they'll tarp this whole area up, keep it like that for about 30 days. And after 30 days, then they're allowed to start feeding it to the cattle. That's when it'll be in its ferment stage and they'll be good to go. So while this truck behind me unloads, more than that silage efforts, he said he could get about 200, 250 on a good day, acres done in a day on that silage unit, which was more than I thought it was gonna be able to do. It does run into a few issues every now and then, but for the most part, if it's a good steady field, he said if he can just get after it, he can do about 250 acres, which is nuts considering how much, like tons that is. I, I can't even imagine how many tons that is. I think one of these trucks, it's like 80 tons when it's full. 
or something like that. I might, I might be making that up. I'm not totally sure of that, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said, which is pretty wild. I mean, this mound behind me already, I mean, it's pretty far that way. It's probably, I don't know, 20, 25 foot tall. It might not look that big on camera, but it's a big mound. You gonna climb up it? We'll climb up it, why not? Actually, I better not, I might get ran over. Let's not do that. It looks like they're gonna finish earlier than they thought here. So instead of coming back in the morning to watch that tractor unfold and take a look at it fully, we won't be able to because it'll be on the road already but he's gonna be back in a few months to do silage on some corn. So I'm gonna be there for that. So if you guys enjoyed the video and wanna see when he does some corn, give that video a thumbs up as always. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel and let me know if you wanna see more cool things like this other than just today. We'll check out all sorts of stuff. So let me know. Thank you for watching.